Hello. Changing it up a bit. Today we have an MPS 801 printer. Which, by all accounts, uh, was not a great printer. I mean, it worked. It was not fast. Um, it didn't have a very good character set, except if you ordered a special EEPROM from a company called Willanta. And that would correct the horrible non-descender, and that means that the, the letters that should go below the line actually never did. Uh, but the Willanta EEPROM would fix that. They sold them for a great number of years. And they really made the printer, um, well, they made a bad printer as good as it could possibly be. So I have not checked this. Um, it's a little yellowed, a little dusty. I plugged it in. I've not turned it on yet. Um, no flames as of yet. Here we go. made the right noises. Um, a lot of printers back in the day had, um, if you held down a certain button, it would do its testing. This printer did not have that. This printer in the back had a switch. It picked the device, but also if you put it in the T position, it would test it. So I've just flipped it to the T position. Let's see what happens. sounds encouraging, although I have no paper in it, so I don't know if it's actually printing. Oh, and here is the ribbon that looks a little, um, well, it's kind of up in the middle, like it hasn't been in position, and even though I'm turning it, let me just check. Am I turning it the way it's supposed to turn? Yes, I am turning it the way it's supposed to turn. Um, it's not turning. They had a rather ingenious way of keeping this ribbon inked in that there was this little cartridge, removable. Um, maybe you could add ink to it, I'm not sure. Oop. Maybe I see the ribbon problem. It, oh, um, oh dear. Where are my glasses? I see something in here. It does not, oh. it does not look right. Something just fell out. Something to do with the ribbon? I don't know what. But as I was looking in here, I could see ribbon where it shouldn't kind of be. Maybe after all this time, the winder mechanism. Am I still turning the right way? Yeah, I am. That's given up. Hmm. But the anchor thing seems to be intact. Yeah, it looks like maybe it's a hole that you can add more in there. Anyway, um... Ugh. Even with the light in here. It is hard to see. I'm going to try and pull this ribbon a bit and see if this helps any. And it 
does not. It is not advancing. It is not turning. So I think I think this ribbon is not going to be helpful in these tests. I don't even know if I can... No. Yes. No. Not good. Well, I can still try something, even if I can't see. It sounds like it's printing. So, I can take a serial cable, I can hook it up in the back, I can turn off the Commodore 64 and turn it on and maybe it will reset. Okay, so it's getting a little something there. Uh, so, if my memory serves right... I can print to this. The body's not pressing your internet. Okay, that went well. Yes, I think it is coming back to me. I did, I tried, oh, I almost did a thing kind of like the disk drive, but that's I'm going to open 4, 4, which I believe um, opens the channel to the printer. Then I have to say print number, using the number sign, 4, comma, quote. And I will just say print. And I will try again. And nothing happened. Right. Let me look at that again. I. It is possible. I should look at the switch. Because maybe. Uh huh. The middle position on the switch is three. The position at this perspective, to the left, is number four. So that, aha! Uh -huh. I believe I have just printed the word print. And I did that by going open four comma four colon print number four comma quote print quote. And then in line, tw that was line 10, and then on line 20, close four. The carriage advanced. For those of you who were excuse me, here when I was trying to sort out the typewriter, you may remember it seemed okay, but the carriage would not advance the paper. At this moment, I have no paper. I have no ribbon. All I have is sound. And it does sound good. So... <laughs> 30 years of dust. So, I may be out of things that I can do with this MPS 801 dot matrix Commodore printer for this moment. I will search for a ribbon. You would think I would have someone or some a ribbon somewhere. I know I have tractor paper somewhere. This printer, for those that don't know, does not see here's regular paper. Isn't it fantastic? Uh, tractor paper has the little holes down the side that then you can rip off afterwards. And some printers it was you could use regular paper, you could use tractor paper. And this printer only tractor paper. So, I have no ribbon, I have no paper, but I have a printer that seems to work. I do know in the basement somewhere I have these like postcard things I could use. I would have to readjust 
the uh, the things inside where it grabs, but that could at least give me an indication. Of course, I know it looks like the paper would move, so that's not the problem. The real problem is the ribbon. So I'll have to look. So anyway, I will. Let me see. Turn it off. MPS 801 printer. Could be used as device 3 or 4 and also had a position to test. Was it a good printer? Well, I suppose any printer that works is good. Did it have good characters? No. Did it have like really fine, beautiful, like um, dot matrix characteristics? No. Was it quiet? No. Was it fast? No. Um, did it work? Generally speaking, and from the sounds of it, um, this one has lasted, oh, maybe almost 35 years, and it still seems to work. Um, it could use a little bath, couldn't we all? So, I guess the saga of this printer will continue. But we are getting there. One step at a time. Another Commodore device. Breathes life. Breathes air. And um, maybe this printer will print at some point. I will keep you posted. Stay tuned. Until we meet again. David Bradley, signing off.